Hi, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and this is your truth for the week. In five minutes or less, we're going to talk about today, how do you pray in the heat of opposition? How do you pray in the heat of opposition? Step one, position yourself. How are you going to position yourself? That means that you have to be in constant communication with the Lord. You are not going to stand back or step back and not have your prayer life increased. Pray without ceasing, the Bible tells us. And we're supposed to do that on a regular basis. But definitely when you're in the midst of dealing with some significant opposition on every hand, don't stop praying. So you're going to position yourself. That means that you're at his throne room on a regular basis, that you're in his word so that you're praying back the promises. You need to know what the word says and what God has promised to you and what he has been speaking to you through his word as well as through others. Secondly, you're going to prepare yourself. That means that you're going to repent. Yes. If you're in the heat of opposition, make sure you repent. You're asking for forgiveness. You're asking to be clean. Search me and know me, oh God. You want all of that out of the way because you don't want to be a hindrance to the answer to the prayer coming to you. Yeah. But you're also going to, in that preparation for yourself, you're going to assemble your forces. That means that you recognize that when you're in the heat of all this attack and battle, you can't do it by yourself. You need a community. You need a coach. You need someone who's going to push you, but you need some other people around you that are going to surround you with the encouragement that you need, that are going to intercede on your behalf, that are going to send praises up and remind you of the goodness of God when you have forgotten about your history. You need those people you need to prepare. But thirdly, you need to present your petition. Now, this sounds easy, but I need you to be real because you cannot heal what you're not willing to reveal. You need to let God know exactly where you are. That means that you need to clearly and specifically identify what it is that you need God to do. He needs to work something out on your behalf. You've positioned yourself. You've had the communication with him and you didn't stop. You continue to go before him sometimes just laying at his feet, sometimes not even saying a word, but allowing the Holy Spirit to intercede on your behalf. But you got to be there. You got to be willing to show up. But you also needed to make sure that you prepared yourself, that you removed anything that could hinder you. You've asked God to give you the right community, the right people to go with you, to be in this with you, to show you, to reveal to you who really is on your side, because you already see some of the enemies. But then you need to ask him specifically for that victory, for what you want. Declare it, confess it, and continue to pray, realizing that you are going to believe his report, not anyone else's. This is your truth for the week. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes, making sure you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Remember, not just a hearer of the word only, but you've got to be a doer as well. So I'm here with your biblical application. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Hi, thanks for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that notification button so you'll know the next time there's a new episode. Listen, as a result of my coaching program, my clients have experienced a calming of the emotional roller coaster. They have a compelling future, as well as the confidence and the know how to achieve it. And they have clarity on the financial tools that they need in order to live life on their terms and save tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for women who are devastated by the double D's, divorce or death, who want to gain confidence to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. My question is, who do you know? Have them go ahead and book a call with me so that we can get to that compelling future. My heart may be broke, but your bank account doesn't have to be. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.